tobacco seeds to the Special Olympics. I feel sad for Prince Birch, but I feel happy. Um, I, I, he wore my socks. Uh, I, I want him to feel happy. I, I want to get, get well. Well, the company says it will donate 100% of the proceeds from those reading socks to the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy. Those are my favorite socks. Yeah, I see why. Well, a grocery store employee hit by a customer who thought that she wasn't listening. It wasn't because the worker wasn't ignoring anyone. It is because she is deaf. Liberty Gratz says that she was kneeling down to straighten up a bottom shelf in the store in Midlothian. That's right near Richmond. And that's when she felt the blow to her head that came out of nowhere. She doesn't have that peripheral vision, so she's really focused on her work. She doesn't always notice, like, the people beside her. Can you imagine somebody hitting somebody in the head? That's ridiculous. Gratz usually communicates with shoppers using pen and paper. And after the woman got her attention, Liberty did point her in the direction of what she needed. She says that her managers were very supportive, and Publix now says they're working with local law enforcement to try and figure out who that woman was, perhaps track her down. Well, a big change coming to Ford dealerships, the automaker announcing by 2020, the only passenger car models they'll be selling in North America will be the Mustang and a new model, the Ford Focus Active. It's a hatchback style car. Other than that, no more cars. That means the Fiesta, Taurus, Fusion, and regular Focus no longer being available in the United States and Canada. Ford, though, will continue to offer its full line of trucks, SUVs, and crossovers. They're much more popular anyway. Yeah. Well, seven's on your side with a health alert and a growing number of illnesses tonight associated with tainted romaine lettuce. The CDC says 31 new cases of E. coli have been linked to romaine grown in Arizona. So this brings the number of people affected since mid-March to 84. That's across 19 states. In fact, 42 people have been hospitalized. Health officials say the percentage of people hospitalized is much higher than most E. coli outbreaks with this one. Well, Amazon's Alexa is getting a kid-friendly makeover because the company now is launching an Eco Dot or an Echo Dot for kids. Yeah, this kids edition of the smart speaker still plays music, of course, and answers questions, but all of the answers are tailored to a child audience. It also has a number of different parental controls. The kid-friendly speaker comes in these three bright colors you see and can be pre-ordered for $80. At you know, least you hope it answers the, 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 problem, <laughs> the problem with that is when your kid walks in the room before you do and it starts playing music, it's going to be Barney singing I Love You. <laughs> You'll be like, really? Yeah. Really? No Rascal Flats anymore. That's gone. That's it's, it. It's Barney. That's it, yeah. Uh, we're not quite there. I, you know, it's, no. it's really concerning and it's interesting being a parent now in this generation, this age and, and where we are is how much flexibility you give and we're all if you're a parent too you're kind of going all, along with it and seeing what happens i kind of want to just go back to the old days you don't I have know. to worry about stuff like this I but know. Uh, there you go i hear you all right so it's a i, I yeah, know with your little ones too <laughs> here we go here's what we're looking at it's a pretty quiet night it's a beautiful night skies are clearing out we got 62 reagan national that's pretty close to where we were earlier in the evening hasn't cooled off much 58 degrees gaithersburg 60 in manassas right now dulles at 58 our temperatures are going to drop tonight a little bit, but not a crazy drop, but all the rain is gone. And as we head on into the remainder of the evening, it should be a beautiful one. Out the door tomorrow, this map doesn't show it, but maybe a little bit of patchy fog, a couple areas with those low clouds. Otherwise, I'm expecting it to be dry. I'm expecting a lot of sunshine. Should be a beautiful day. Pack your lunch, eat outside. Temperatures up near 70 degrees for the high temperature with sunshine most of the day. We get into your evening, your Thursday evening, still dry, no problems if you're heading on out to dinner, that type of thing. But you should notice much more in the way of cloud cover, say, at this time tomorrow night than you will at 11 o'clock in the morning as these clouds thicken up ahead of a pretty strong weather system in terms of a rainmaker. Watch this. I'll stop this at 5 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Notice not only yells, we have oranges and reds, some moderate to heavy rainfall working through starting from the west-southwest, working into the area, six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning on Friday, of course, right around commute time. And this is everywhere from Southern Maryland all the way back to West Virginia and Western Maryland. It remains through about nine o'clock. Once we hit noon on Friday and beyond, just some scattered showers. But man, look at the numbers as we head on into the morning. Here's by noon Friday, pretty widespread, three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain, if not more, around the area. That's the not so good news. Probably will issue a weather alert because of the heavy rain for a morning commute. But I don't see thunder and lightning with this, and I definitely don't see severe weather. So that, of course, is some good news. But so we've got some clearing skies with some patchy fog, 59, 55, 
down to about 51 at 6 o'clock in the morning. And then your day tomorrow, we're going to see some temperatures in the 70s. Not looking at the rain so much, uh, but we will have a beautiful day. The rain is more on Friday. That's 66 degrees. Then a slight chance on Saturday. Then after that, if you're someone that likes the warm weather, man, next week is looking great. We head on into May on Tuesday. And temperatures at least the first couple of days, guys, mid, maybe upper 80s. It's going to be oh. quite a bit warmer. I'll send it back to you. You know, rain or shine, kind of like the Postal Service, you'll be out in it. Because join us tomorrow for Bill's Stormwatch <laughs> 7 forecast on the go in Arlington. Bill is going to be at the Roslyn Reeds Spring Book Festival. Tune in at 4, 5, and 6 for those reports. In fact, he'll be out every single day. With his arms crossed like he is in that picture. Just like that. <laughs> Getting it done. All right, some good news now for the next time your sweet tooth strikes you. Yeah, we're breaking down the boost of brain power you can get from chocolate. Yes, the you can. The sweet research coming up next. Looking for something more intelligent in your next sedan? Well, look no further.